Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we, we thank you. We bless you and we honor you. Spirit of a living God, we welcome you. Grant your wisdom this morning and teach us the word of the truth. Father, let the hearts of your people be prepared to receive the word. Grace, Lord, this morning I pray. Brood upon this word with power mm. and bring enlightenment to the mind and the heart of people. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So we began a series. Uh, this is the second part for uh, people that haven't. Um, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. For people that um, haven't been, uh, or probably that did not have uh, the opportunity of listening to the previous one, I would encourage you to go and listen to uh, once saved, always saved. Yeah. It's actually a question. And I've been wanting to do this teaching for some time because there's a lot of error that have been preached in the church in line with this thing. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we give false hope to the people of God. You see, the Bible says, uh, you will know the truth, and the truth will do what? Will set you free. Will set you free. Yes. And what men of the pulpit, or we who claim to be preachers, need to be doing is speak the truth. Yes, sir. And then it will be up to the individual to make a conclusion as what the scripture says. But we should be able to speak the truth, not mislead men. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is to try and bring scriptures then at the end of it all you as an individual will make an informed decision whether the idea of once saved always saved is true amen because it's possible to be reckless once you say yes to Jesus, you confess him as your Lord, it's possible to be reckless. And we will see in the scriptures. So last week we looked at how this idea of salvation is a marriage relationship. I just want to recap a little bit. It is a marriage relationship where Christ is the groom and we are the bride. Amen? So it is idea that Jesus had predestined you, and last time I was saying you, I was not referring to your body, I was referring to the inner man, or the spirit in you, that he predestined you, that once that spirit manifests into the time, or into this earth, the idea is that you will be able to conform to the image of Jesus. Okay. Our technology is failing. It will work. The Lord will grant grace. Okay. So the idea was that once you are in this world, you, you were predestined with the view that you conform to the image of the Lord. And we did look at the fact that in this relationship, God has not taken away the aspect of the will. So I was giving an example of my wife that as the reason why you always say Mr. and Mrs. Mwamba it is because both parties, meaning my wife and myself, are constantly willing to stay with one another. Now, in this marriage of Christ being the bride, and so Christ being the groom, and the church being the bride, when we break it down, to the cellular level where we began to individualize it you become that brand mm -hmm. now the challenge is that 
you have the options to walk away from this contract. Because he who married you is faithful. He's faithful and he has vowed <coughs> that nothing will separate you and him Amen. except yourself. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are the one that is likely to reach this contract. And I want us to continue building on that. Hallelujah. There's not, as far as he, he, he is concerned, there's nothing that can separate us. Tribulations, distress, persecution, famine, <laughs> even nakedness. As far as he's concerned, these dimensions cannot separate us. But from where you stand, from where you stand, Fiona, it's possible for you to face tribulation yes. and walk away from this marriage. <laughs> mm. That possibility, that possibility exists. Whereas he has vowed, but you, the day you will face persecution. Question is, will you be able to still be faithful in this marriage? The day hunger comes and then you are offered money by the devil, will you say no when your children need food? Brother David, he has vowed. But the question is, are you going to be faithful? So we want to investigate and find at the end because, you see, this time is not the end of all matters. Mm. This dispensation or the age of time is not the end of all matters. So the idea is that you hold on and stay in this relationship till the end. So let us look at Ephesians chapter 4, where we started chapter 1, where we stopped last time. Ephesians 1, verses 11 to 14. Uh, where's my Bible? Can you? I know I've got an electronic one here. Sister Shady, you are hiding. So we want to investigate. We read this last week. Or probably, but other things are wrong. Do you want to, or you want, you want, you want to listen carefully, or you want? Me, I do want to read the Bible. Yes, yes. Okay. So, Ephesians one, verses eleven to fourteen. There's key things that I would like us to. To look upon. So, if you are in Ephesians chapter 1, I can still hear the Bible is flipping, so I'll give us time. Are we there? Yes. Okay, Ephesians 1, reading from verses 11 to 14. The question is, is the idea or the notion of once saved, always saved, true? Now, Sister Shelley, please, if you can guide us. In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. In him you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, to the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. Who is what? The guarantee 
of his inheritance. If, if you did not listen to part one of this message, I want to encourage you to go and listen to part one of this message. And then part two will make sense. Amen? So the Bible, or, or, or Paul, begins to show us that in him, meaning Jesus, we have obtained an inheritance. Now, this inheritance is according to the predestination. It is his purpose. Yes. Mm. Predestined according to what? His, his purpose. purpose. Yes. Who worketh all things after the counsel of his will. Now the Bible says no one gives counsel to God. Amen? So he worketh things according to what? The counsel of what? His will. So now you begin to discover that in this marriage, your rights are limited. Yes. Just like any marriage. Like any other marriage. You, you, you have come into God. You cannot continue, like I was giving an example last time, to say the day Mrs. Mwamba chooses to fall in love with Mr. John, because she still retains the feelings for other men. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, listen to me. Yes. Listen to me. You, you are, you, you, your, 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 your makeup, your genetic makeup, you, you can look at a car yes. and go like, that car looks good. Yes. Even when the car that you own is good, yes. it's a natural tendency of a man. Yes. You can look at a woman and say, that woman is beautiful. But what is restraining you or what is riddling your heart is that you are committed to another woman. So, whereas that woman is beautiful, your rights are limited. Yeah. I get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, <laughs> you are limited in your rights. Why? I, I want to give a practical example that will hit home if we are in the UK. Because the Bible is saying what? In him, you have obtained an inheritance. In him. Based on the reality that he predestined us according to his purpose. Which worketh according to the counsel of his own will. Now, we all know Prince Harry. We know Prince Harry, right? Now, Prince Harry Prince Harry, mm. the prince, yeah, mm. has an inheritance. Okay? Yeah. He has what? He has an inheritance. Mm -hmm. That inheritance is in keeping with him being a what? A son of King Charles. Mm. That's the inheritance. He, 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 as, as long as he continues and does not rebel, and walk away from this association, he has inheritance by the way of him being a son to who? King Charles. Now, if Harry moves out, or say, just say I'm, I'm not going to be a part of this, that inheritance that is there, will he still have it? No. No, no, no. no. I, 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 Which he has. Are you with me? So, right now, as we speak, he is, he is a prince. Okay? But what has he chosen? He has chosen to walk away yes. from this predestined inheritance through his father yes. that he can, he is loyal to. But what does he do? He walked away. So when King Charles begins to apportion, when he says, I don't want to be a part of this, when Harry has said, I don't want to be a part of this, do you think he'll get anything from there? Yeah. So Harry had a will. Yes. Despite the inheritance, Harry had what? A choice. Yes. He was predestined yes. to be a part of this monarch. But with his will, Sister Jane, he willed to walk away and go to California. Yes. 
and say, I don't like this nonsense, I'm not part of it, I am going to have my own life. But he was what? Predestined to be a part of what? This arrangement. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He, yes. He forfeited, he forfeited all the rights that came with it. Exactly. The, the bodyguards. Eh, oh, oh, the, the day that he said, I'm not part of it, the they, they called the bodyguards. Come back. Yeah. Because there are benefits, there are associated benefits by virtue of being a part of the monarch. If he says, I want to go to Vancouver, they will organize a jet and they will take him. But the day he says, I'm walking away, he will have to find his own jet. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what I'm trying to show us, that in as much as you were predestined, when you manifested in this time, you retain your will. Yes. So, even when you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, the possibility that you can be attracted by the Things of this world still exist. And every single day, as long as you are alive, you retain the choice of continuing in this marriage or doing what? Or walking away. So, if you were predestined and you said yes to Jesus, in 1994 and then at the time of COVID you lost your job and you thought God was useless and Jesus does not work and you walk away just because you said yes to Jesus at that time will you still continue being no. a child of God no. even when he says nothing can separate us no. you're not helping me yes you've cut yourself yeah. off <laughs> are you with me Will you still be a child? You chose to walk away. So you will not be a part of this. Whereas the, the, the Jesus himself, he is committed. He is committed to the very what? To the very end. And the challenge is that, or the, the, interesting, that, the, the interesting thing is that all this predestination and choosing was to his glory. Amen. Verse 12 says, we should be to the praise of what? His glory. So in whom? Who is, who is whom? In whom? In Christ. In Jesus. We trusted. After we heard, after he did what? He heard the word of truth. The gospel of salvation in whom after he believed. Okay? So you heard the word. You heard the word of truth. You obtained salvation because you believed. And because this groom is so faithful, he says, Brother David, you are now become my son. So, to show my commitment to you, I am going to put my spirit in you as a seal, as a seal of my what? Of my salvation, that you are mine. Yes. Amen. I'm, I want to guarantee that you are what? You are mine. Mm -hmm. So the Lord puts the spirit as a seal when you say yes, after you heard the word, after you believed the gospel of salvation, and you believed in this Jesus, to commit himself to you, mm -hmm. he granted you a sin. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So the question is, will you continue in this marriage? Mm -hmm. That seal is the seal of the glory, is a seal of the Holy Ghost. It is an earnest of the inheritance. I think, can you just read the last portion of um, verses 14 in Ephesians 1 14? Just the last portion. I like your translation. Um, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory? The guarantee 
of our inheritance until the redemption, the day of redemption. So there is this period, and the idea is that yourself and myself, when we say yes to Jesus, he has given us a seal, and we should continue being faithful until that day of the purchasing, of, of the redeeming of the purchased. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Until that day. If it takes 100 years, we continue. Amen. If we die before that time, the idea is what? We continue. Amen. Because he has given a guarantee that you are what? You are mine. Yes. Yeah. So now, because Jesus Christ has put a guarantee, yes. he has put a deposit in us that we are his. So does that mean now that one said, always say it. No. Because this is the, some of the scriptures that men have used to argue and say, look, Jesus has purchased you. You have become the bride. And to show his commitment, he is faithful and says nothing can separate us. And he has put a spirit in a man as a seal to guarantee the salvation. Mm -hmm. Now, Sister Angie, does that qualify to say that one saved always say no. there are conditions yes there are conditions that we thank god for brother paul yes he left nothing to chance i would encourage you to read the book of ephesians mm -hmm. it will open your eyes mm -hmm. and let us explore now can we jump to ephesians chapter 4 and verses 17 to 24 There's a seal until the redemption of the purchased possession. Until the what? Until. And it's the Bible which says until the redemption of the purchased possession. possession. So in other words, your rights are limited. You become a subject of Jesus. Are you with me? Come on, help me. Help me. Yes. I, I, I want you to encourage me. Yes. Yeah? Yes. You become the property, the property of the Lord Jesus Christ yes. until on that day. Mm. Until on that day. Of redemption of the purchased position. Mm -hmm. Now, what does the Bible say in verses 17 to 24 of Ephesians chapter 4. Sister Shelley, please. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart who, being past feeling, have given themselves over to rudeness, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned Christ, if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off, concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that you put on the new man, which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. In true righteousness mm -hmm. and what? Holiness. And holiness. Mm -hmm. Last week I was saying, look, you came into this world. There is a God of this world. Yes. And I can tell you, he's still marketing his merchandise. And as I was saying when I was referring to my wife that, you know, she, you, I, I, and as much as she's my wife, she can choose to walk away from me. Or as, um, as much as I'm the husband, I can choose to walk away from her and yeah. leave the children and cleave to another man. God forbid. Those possibilities, that's what, do exist. Are you with me? Uh, but in, in, in this relationship that we have with our God mm. is that the God, the Jesus who 
purchased us. He is faithful. Amen. But you and I still retain the possibilities of prostituting. Yeah. Yes. So Paul is trying to show us that he or you as an individual, now that you have been saved, now that you have become a wife, yeah, mm -hmm. you have been sealed with the seal of the Holy Spirit. Now, he says, henceforth, if it's your Bible, underline that word. I don't know if that word is in your Bible. Probably it says going forward. I'm not sure what your Bible says. Henceforth. Okay? In other words, going forward, and from now onwards, do what? Walk not as other Gentiles walk. Hallelujah. Walk not as what? Other Gentiles walk. So, we are all Gentiles, apart from the Jews. Anyone outside Israel is what? Gentiles. So in these Gentiles, you, when you say yes to Jesus, you become a special class of Gentiles. You become the bride of Christ, but you are yet still Gentiles. So you believe in God and you are separate from the other group of Gentiles. So Paul is trying to say, Walk not as other Gentiles walk, yeah. where divorce and carnality and drunkenness may be prevailing. You are not a part of that kind of grouping of Gentiles. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And. The 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 the, the 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 other group of of of, of gentiles, there's a word he uses. Because they function, they function in the vanity of their mind. Yeah. They function in the vanity of what? In the vanity of their mind. Yeah. In other words, they have nothing to restrain them. Yeah. On the contrary, you and me are limited our choices are limited we are married people yeah. <laughs> yeah. are you with me yeah. yes whereas everyone else can go to the club and fraternize with women brother david you and i we can't yeah. yeah we can't so whereas everyone can go to the club and drink alcohol you and i we cannot yeah. we are limited those people are unbridled, they are uncultured. We are cultured by the word of God. Amen. We are cultured and we are governed by the dictates of the word of God. Amen. Jesus Christ becomes the center and the circumference of our salvation. Hallelujah. So we may, we, we may desire many things that are in the world. However, we are limited by the scope of our operation, yeah. the word of God. Mm -hmm. And the example that Jesus Christ said, mm -hmm. tempted in every way and sin not. Mm -hmm. Grace. Hallelujah. Amen. They walk in the, man, in the vanity of their mind. Mm -hmm. Having their understanding darkened. So, you know, because the other side are functioning from the vanity of their minds, yeah. it's possible that they wake up tomorrow and say, a man can marry a man. Yeah. Why? They are functioning from where? The vanity of their mind. Yeah. Whereas, when you look at that, 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 that dimension they are trying to propagate, that a man can marry a man, it goes against even the economical standard of a nation. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you are going to produce cars yeah. so that your GDP can go up, that you can sell, you need men. Yeah. Yeah. But if you propagate this narrative of a man and a man, a woman and a woman, 100 years down the line, population would have dwindled. Yeah. 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 If you have done your research, yeah. you discover that even nations that are not propagating this reality, 
population is reducing. Look at Japan. Yes. Look at many nations in Europe. Now we want to pedal this. Why? Because we are, they are functioning from where? The vanity of their mind. Whereas you and me are controlled and, and directed by the way. It is your campus. Yes. yes. So you, 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 it's possible for you to begin to tap into these ideas that are not biblical and walk by them. Will you still be a bride? But, he, but, but last one, I said yes to Jesus. Where's the problem? I, I confessed him as my Lord in, in, in 2015. I, I, Sister Francis, 60 years ago. But I, I confessed him as my Lord. Are you with me? Yeah. Question is, have you been walking in the precincts? Yes. Hallelujah. Because these men having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts. So the, the, Paul is trying to describe the other group of Gentiles, but he says, do not walk like the other Gentiles. Why? Because you are married to this Jesus. But how many believers do we see walking like other Gentiles? Yeah? Yes. How many stories have we heard of a church and children have been, uh, have been abused? Proper pedophiles in the church. And, and, and they are a part of us? And they are still set? Uh, so in, in, your, in your eyes, those pedophiles, they, they, they are, they are saved? Because they are wearing gowns and they minister every morning in the church? No, no. Yeah, because one saved, always saved. No. Are you with me? Yeah. yeah. Verses 23, 22, 23, 24 gives us a breakdown. That ye put off concerning the former conversations of old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts and be renewed in the spirit of your mind the inner man has to change yeah. and put and that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and in holiness can I just digress a little bit it's within the context. When you get saved, it's not your soul that gets saved. The Lord restores your spirit man. Yes. yes. Okay? Not your soul. Yeah. And your soul is where you have put all manner of activities. Lust, love, all the songs, all the movies. They are a component of your soul. That is why you can say yes to Jesus today. And upon walking out of this room into the car park and insult someone. Yeah. Why? Because your soul is not saved. Yeah. That's why you need to begin to work on the soul by looking at the word. And the inner man has to be transformed. I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't know if it's making sense. Yeah. Yeah. The inner man has to be what? Yeah. Has to be transformed. Yeah. It is a job. So you begin to surrender and yield to the Lord yeah. so that you can now conform to the image of the Lord. When they yeah. see Uncle Beth, they say, that yeah. man is very pious. I don't, I, I, it's because he's a Christian. I've never heard him insult. Why? The inner man has been changed. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. He has been changed. So it, it, it did not come by accident. Uncle Bert had to choose to stop insulting. Yes. He had to choose to stop aligning with the things of this world. Hmm. Sorry, I digress. I wanted to clarify that. Hmm. Are you with me? Yes. So when, when the Bible is saying now in verses 824 uh, that, that, that you put on the new man. Are you with me? That you put on the what? The new man. I, 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 we, 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 don't, don't worry, just stay with me. It will make sense. <laughs> it will make sense. Yes. Hallelujah. Sister Shelley, 
a jump from 25 to 32 of the same Ephesians 4. And be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. <coughs> to, to 32, all the way to 32. Oh, yeah. oh, from 25 to 32. Oh, Sorry, yes, from 25 to 32. My apologies. Ephesians 4, 25 to 32. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbour. Yeah. We are members of one another. Yeah. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labour, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Mm. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamour and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Put away lying, speaking every man truth, his neighbour. Paul gives us a synopsis. He gives us an idea of what the expectations are in this relationship. Hallelujah. He gives us an idea of what we should be like. He gives us two pictures. The picture of the Gentiles or the other Gentiles and the picture of we the Gentiles that are in what? In Christ Jesus. And he begins to align and show us of what we should do. Hallelujah. The idea is that we should not walk like them but walk as Christ did. And he gives us, if, in case you don't understand, just in case you are in doubt, he shows us what they should be. Now, in so doing, and we are, we are English people here who understand English. So, can I allow me to read verses 30? Verses 30. This is where it becomes interesting. Okay? So, we were saying, we were saying that when you said yes to Jesus, okay, as a faithful husband, or as the Lord, depending on why, how you want to say, because he's a groom, we are the bride. What he did was to show commitment, was to put the what? The Holy Spirit. On us as a what? As a deposit. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. As a seal. Until on the day of what? Of redemption. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul goes to length to show us the things that we are expected to do and not to do. And then in this verse 30, he says, and. Now, when a statement starts with and, Understand? When the statement starts with and, is that normal? No. <laughs> that means there's, there's, there's pre preceding yes. information. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Sister Frank, it means there's preceding what? Information. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back. Let's start from verses 25. Okay? I'll read. Because when Sister Shelley was reading, I think we we're not listening. <laughs> Let me read again. Yeah. Okay? Because uh, the, the, why I'm reading this is because of that word and. Mm. And. Yes. So, Paul says, therefore, putting away lying, this is the expectation of the new Gentile. Mm. Mm. This is the expectation of the new man yeah. that has to be renewed. Who's, pre, who's the, the inner man? Has been renewed. Put away speaking, put away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. 
He says, be angry. So it's possible to be angry. Yeah. However, sin not. Yes. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. In other words, learn to forgive. Yeah. Learn to apologize. This is a new man. Yeah. This, these are the dictates of the new contract. Your rights are limited. Whereas in the past you had anger and you flipped tables and battered your wife and slammed the doors. Now Jesus is saying you have become my bride and there is a character that I'm envisaging to see in you. So, in other words, do not do these things. Be angry, sin not. Neither give place to the devil. Yes. Let him that store steal no more. These are conditions of the contract. Yes. Fiona cannot continue sleeping with other women or with other men as my wife. She will lose the right of being my what? My wife. Yes. This so Paul is trying to show us, Eden, you cannot continue. You cannot continue stealing. Because if you continue stealing, you are not part of this idea. Are you with me? Mm. Juanita, you cannot continue in that way. What God is trying to show us is that there's a new man that has come. Amen. Sister Roberta, mm. it, this is what it means. Yes. A new man has come. Yeah. Because let him not store still no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands. This is, is trying to give us a picture. That's why I was saying, Paul gave us a synopsis. Let no corruption communication proceed out of the mouth. Hallelujah. But that which is good to the use of a divine. So if you used to insult everyone at will, now you change. Are you with me? Because the consequences of these things is that where the word and comes in, Sister Jane. That and is as a result, if you continue to walk in the things itemized about Sister Jane, you have anger, you do not forgive, you are in lasciviousness. The, the chances are that you will grieve the Holy Spirit, which was a seal, which was a deposit that you are his. Now, when you grieve him, he's a gentleman, he will walk away. Yeah. And grieve not the Holy Spirit, whereby you were sealed unto the day, unto the day of redemption. So is one saved always saved? No. I was telling you the other day, as I was driving to, driving to church, I passed by another church. I saw a woman standing outside, smoking. You know? Smoking. Outside. So she, she carried the cigarettes from home into the church. And the appetite of smoking overcame her. She walked away and lit a cigarette. The idea is that you put away. That your inner man should be indwelled with God. Amen. You become the temple. That's why we say read the way. Read the Bible. Yes. Read the Bible. I beg of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Read the Bible. Mm. Your container, you are a container that should house God. Yes. So what goes in matters. Yeah. What you watch, what you hear, what you say, matters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have been indwelled by the third man in the God. Godhead. Yeah. God dwells in you. Amen. When they would ask Jesus, Amen. what about the kingdom? He said, the kingdom is within you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we, we say, we, we, we're not trying to deprive you of your, of your privileges. No. Because when we say stop drinking. No, no, no. You have become a new man. You now house God. Ah. Yes. Yes. Mm. You now house the immortal. You house the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Yes. Yes. <laughs> One saved, always saved. No. You are in the clouds. You are sleeping without men and women. And prostitution, by the way, is not just physical, it's also spiritual. Yeah. A little bit of yoga here. Yeah. A little bit of new age here. You are a prostitute. And traditional. Yeah, and the Bible, the, in fact, the Bible is, 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 is very, very crude about it. It says you are a whore. <laughs> I, I, which Bible do you read? Don't look at me like that. Uh, Sister Jane, look at these people. They are looking at me like I'm, I'm, I'm now the strange one. Do you read your Bible? Yes. God is saying, stop your whoring. 
You next time you are submitting yourself to bar, next time submitting yourself to astros, you are prostitute, you are whoring. I married you, I betrothed you. It's yeah. in the scriptures. In other words, you cannot continue. If you go to astros, you are astros. You go to new age, you are new age. You are not mine, so you are a prostitute. So it's both in the physical and in the spiritual. Yeah. Once saved, always saved. And then you hear a Catholic father. He, he's got five, five girlfriends. Mm -hmm. huh? I thought you sold to, to, to chastity and the celibacy. Who are you fooling? A pastor. He, he has impregnated two men, two women. And now it's possible. Even that, that, that statement is possible, by the way. It's, it's in our generation. I've, I've heard men do that. No, we are, we are carrying a child. How? We are going to have a How? You shall know the what? The, the truth. truth. Yeah. The truth will do what? Will set you free. Will set you free. Yes. We need to be candid. We need to be candid. Mm -hmm. We should not. We should stop lying to each other. Once saved, always saved. Mm -hmm. Is my question. Mm -hmm. Because you, you, the Bible says you shall know them by the truth. Mm -hmm. The church has become a business. We are stealing money in the name of the gospel. Yeah. Driving Porsche cars, building mansions, and we are pastors compete Gucci Gucci watches. The gold chains and, and the, the private jets. When the one who came to die for you <laughs> says, you know, a son of man has a house. He, he, he says, he says you, you have a house. The son of man has no he house. He, he, he's got nowhere to lay his head. Yeah. You, you want to pride yourself in a mansion. Yeah. I've got a mansion in London. I've got one in, 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 in Dubai. Ha! Huh. One time they, 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 they asked them to for taxes. They were broke. They had no money. Out of his wisdom, because he was Jesus' says, Peter, find your hooks. If you still have them, go and find the first fish. We pay these jokers. Yeah. Are you with me? Because he wasn't obliged to pay tax. He was a bona fide Jew. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> you with me? Mm. <laughs> oh, God. Then we want to pride ourselves. Let's carry on. Mm. Once saved, always saved. Mm. Revelation. We'll be concluding. Mm. Revelation 3. Revelation 3, 4 to 6. Revelation chapter 3, verses 4 to 6. You see, you, you, you'll be able to tell yourself, you'll be able to make a conclusion. Of where you are standing after this series. Are you with me? Yes. You know, there's no need for you, someone to be carrying a whip behind you and say, come on, move, move, move. No. Love God. No. Go for prayer. No. Fast. No. Once you read the Bible and you mature in God, mm. ah, you'll be flying. So tell me, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Is, it, is it helping? Praise God. Revelation chapter 3, <coughs> verses 4 to 6. Sister Shelley, please. You have a few names, even in Sardis, who have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. <laughs> I, I, I want to give you a, new, a news flash. Breaking news, headline. This message was not to the heathens. This word was not to Babylon. This word was to the church. To the what? Church. Church in service. And, and, and when God has done a looking, he says, I, I, I can see you home church fellowship. There are a few. Now, if you have a few here, and then Jesus is saying there are a few. <laughs> are you with me? There are a few. Though has a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. So in other words, it's possible 
for you to be saying you are a believer and yet your garments are soiled. Yeah. Yeah. I know you don't want to hear that. You want to bless me, bless me. Mm -hmm. a, a, an average believer who is running for a miracle with a soiled garment. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. There are a few that have still kept their garments clean. Yeah. And then he says, He that overcometh. What I'm telling you are the prescription of this marriage we have come into. You have to persevere. It won't always be rosy. It won't always be nice. People have died. People have been bent on the tree. People have been beheaded. That is the reality of the gospel. So, my wife, how much do you love me? If Mr. John comes with a private jet and a limo, and a private house in Dubai, and one and an, 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 an island, yeah, let's add an island, with an island, you will never pay rent. And the island, wherever you take it, you can say, that's my land. Will you still stay with Mr. Mom? Still dead. Eh, with, with dead and all manner of, ah, uh, still dead. Praise God. <laughs> That's what Jesus is saying. Are you with me? Yeah. That's what Jesus is saying. Yeah. Your groom. That, that he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed. This overcoming is temptations. Yes. Yes. This overcoming is challenges of life in this time. Yeah. They are challenges. The historians are recording that John, the one who is writing this, apparently was boiled in oil. The man couldn't die. They threw him in the sea. He couldn't die. So they poked his eyes and put him on the eye of Patmos. Patmos. This chapter, this, this thing can die. Just leave it there. Let it die. For what? Because he believed. It's a shame. All because of Jesus. And then you and me. Your husband loses a job. Because of the rent. And the man is not coming in. You walk away because now there's a man who's got a job. God forbid. Mm -hmm. Sister Vivian, I almost said Susan again. <laughs> I don't know why I always go Susan, Vivian, Susan, Susan, Vivian. Mm -hmm. are, are you with me? Yes. For better, for what? For worse. Because the idea is that once your garments are spoiled, if you have read the book of Hebrews, the writer of Hebrews says, there is no more blood left. Yeah. There is no more blood left to cleanse you again. Yeah. It's in the Bible. That's why I'm saying, please, I beg you, in the name of the Lord, there should be no one to tell you to stop drinking. Are you with, you? Are you with me? Mm. There should be no one to be walking with a whip or watching you. Stop watching pornography. There should be no one. Are you with me? Mm. You know, I, 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 let me digress again. I, I flew to South Africa. My friend, after I finished my training for this new aircraft, my friend said, come with me. I'm going to fly alone. I want you to help me fly back the aircraft. You fly on the captain's side. I was like, that's fine. Paid for the ticket, went. But because we were picking up the aircraft the following day early in the morning, we slept at the lodge. And at this lodge, it was um, student pilots learning to train. So we found about 10 or so kids, you know, excited about flying, and we came in our still in our uniforms, and this, they, they were excited, oh, ah, so questions. Then we met this old man, he, he, he looked different, because we, we expected to see uh, students, but he looked different, not old, of course, but older for the place where he was. Mm. So, you know, in the evening, we are having a meal, so, hi, ah, hello, I ah, know, I'm from Tanzania, or Tanzania, tomato, tomato, mm -hmm. yeah, from Tanzania, or from Tanzania, oh, yeah, okay, so what are you doing here? I'm a businessman, so I brought some goods, I've sold and everything, and blah, blah, blah. But um, one of the young girls here is my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm staying here. Uh, done. So I oh, no, my wife, two kids, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you know, this life, I've got, I've got an app. I can't remember what the app is. It's not Viber. I don't know, I don't know if it's two weeks. There was an app. So that app... Uh, he can communicate with that girl. Even if, you, even if the wife picked up the phone and scrolled through, she will never... What is it called? The vote. The vote. <laughs> okay? 
The vote. Yes, yes, the vote. So, I, I want to show you the possibility that exists. Okay? This is, this is, so he's got a vote. So he's able to chat. Even when the message comes, there will be nothing like, bing, or oh, what, what, no. He can conversate and communicate all the sweet nothings without the wife's idea. Are you with me? Are you understanding what I'm trying to say? Huh? Corruption still exists. So what Jesus is saying is that this man was a married man, but he still had an opportunity to fraternize with young girls. So what Jesus is saying here is that once you come into him, he that overcometh, that temptation, Eden uh, and Juanita, what is that? that temptation of that Mr. John, <laughs> who may still be giving you hopes and the heart is still a pulsating when you think of him? The idea is he that overcometh. Are you with me? Yes. He that what? Overcometh. He that overcometh. And then he says, He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed with white raiment. Yes. And this is the key. Okay? This is the key. What happens... Let, don't let the light confuse us. Leave it. I want you to pay attention. Can you sit down? Just leave it. Leave it. Okay. We will put subtitles. You guys, I want you to go and listen to the word again and put subtitles. Okay? Put subtitles in Spanish and you will hear the word. Okay? I know the light is not doing us justice. Okay? What I'm trying to show us is that the possibilities of being enticed exist and the idea is that when you come into this marriage, when you say yes to Jesus, you should be able to resist temptation. You should be able to overcome challenges and not give up on Jesus. Because this Jesus who, when you say yes, the idea, the idea is that he writes your name. Sister Francis, yeah. your name is written in the book of life. Yeah. But there's a condition. It can't be not there. Uh -huh. The same Jesus who has a pen to write your name in the book of life, he still carries an eraser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eden? Mm -hmm. Yes, the same Jesus that has inscribed your name in the book of life also has a rubber. One it? Yes. He, he carries a rubber. In fact, it's on his table, on his, on his, on his table side. Sergeant, that's the truth. He has got a blotting equipment. I don't know what it is. Me, I can get it with the rubber or the eraser. But what I know is that he has the possibility of blotting out. If it was cast in stone, if it was cast in iron, I don't know if you put another iron there that your name will not be written, be readable again. The Bible says, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before the angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. So because your name was written in the book of life in, in, in 1974 and in between we can't even recognize that you are a believer. Ah, I'm, I'm, I, I, you know me, I trust God. The, the only thing about Jesus, you know, just have faith. Hmm. Just have faith. And me, I have, I have faith in God. You know, I know sometimes I just drink here and there. You know the pressures of life, you know. You know, when, I'm, when I've got pressure, you know. Sorry, sir. He has rubbed. Continue making yourself feel good. He has rubbed. Unless you repent. He has left a dimension of what? Of mercy. Yes. He sits on the mercy seat. Yes. And the dimension of repentance still exists as long as you are alive. When you die, when you die, you have gone beyond redemption. Yeah. So as you hear, this, as you listen to this word, repent. Set your heart don't be in contamination. Do not be in what? 
in condemnation. Set your heart and grab on onto the dimension of mercy and let the blood speak for you. John 3, so John 8, 13. John 8, 13, as we conclude. I promise this is a conclusion. Okay, I can read this one. It's a short one. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll stumble that much. <laughs> Are we there? Mm -hmm. yeah. John 8, sorry, 31. Apologies, 31. John 8, 31. I'm reading with numbers the wrong way around. As we conclude, I'd ask to say you forgive me. This will take long. John 8, 31. The Bible says, then said Jesus to the Jews which believed. The Jews that did what? Believe. Which believed <laughs> on him. What did he say? If ye continue in my way, then are ye my disciples. What? Indeed. Indeed. Amen. This, this is the hallmark of the contract. This is the hallmark of this belief. You don't believe in peacemaking. You don't believe in part. You don't choose to believe God and still have your other leg in the world. No. It is called marriage. It is called marriage. Your salvation is being betrothed. Is being handed over to Jesus as your groom. And you join the bigger portion of the bride of Christ. And the idea is that you have a white remnant and soil. And you sustain that by, the Bible says, you know, if you believe in him, continue in the word. Now, the word is what the enemy is trying to, to mess. He has missed many translations. I remember in the, in, in the academy, they gave us a military, military Bible, green like this. Oh my goodness. It was a rubbish of a thing. You, I, I read, I'm like, I know this verse. I don't think it says this. It was watered down. Yeah. Heavily watered down. And it's not just that. The men that are standing on the pulpit, we ourselves, we are transforming the world yeah. to fit the narrative of the people. Yeah. No. The word of God is sharper. It's true. Yes. It will not change. Even yeah. God, listen to me, the God of glory has placed his word above himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Above his name. Yeah. And he says nothing, not even a tito, a jot will pass away. Anything else will pass away, but his word. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Amen. So we have got churches with men full of auditorium, and yet it's a bunch of masquerades. We are masquerading. Mm -hmm. We are pretending to be Christians. No. Let the word be the compass. Yes. Let the word be the truth. Amen. We are deceiving ourselves. Yeah. If, if I was a man that performs miracles and prophetic words, I can tell you there would have been no room in here. Yeah. There would be no room because once the word goes out to say, oh, that church, there's a man who is, even miracles, we go on Facebook and, oh, find out about someone and start telling them about who they are in the past. No, there's more to that. The churches have been, have been flipped around. In fact, it's close to home. Church of England. Yeah. Close to home. You change the world. This is a, in fact, this is a good example. You are what? You are a bride. And Jesus is saying, if you continue in my what? In my word. Mm -hmm. You are my disciples, my disciples indeed. Mm -hmm. your, 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 the, the idea of being a disciple indeed is that you continue in the word. In other words, yeah. obey the precepts. Servitude and surrender to this God as per the word. Then the entire church, the entire church comes up and says, No, we are going to accept men marrying men, women marrying women, all men that want to change from man to woman, they can do, and man, woman to man. We accept and we go ahead and begin to ordain these men. 
on the pulpit to speak for God. Ha! Ah. I get it. I got a chill in my spine. It's scary. Are you with me? So can you imagine? You know what the Bible says in Isaiah 1 5? The head is rotten. And the heart, the, the heart fades. So if the head, if the clergy, if the bishopric are the ones that have made that law and now it precipitates, because the Bible says the anointing comes from the head, yes. flows down to the garment. Mm. So you, you'll be sitting in that church. You'll be sitting in that church with that ethos. You are a part of the bride? No. 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 Tell me. This is again. The church of England. The Bible says when the head, the head is rotten, even the heart is affected. So the leadership, where the, the entire church hinges, have said we are going to change the world and craft it to fit the vanity, the vanity of men. Remember the two groups of Gentiles. Others are functioning from the vanity of their, of their mind. So we change the, the world, the church, to function in the vanity. And Paul, in the vanity of the minds of men, and the people that are sitting in there, are there still believers? Who believe and buy and accept of this scenario? The blind leading the blind. The blind leading the blind. Do you know what the counsel of God is? Walk away, my people. Read your Bible. The counsel of God is what? Walk away. Walk away. If you are in that church and you are listening to this word, my, my, my advice Timely, before you die, walk away. There is no purgatory, there is no redemption beyond the grave. It's scripture. In the end times, we are in the end times. Yes. Yes. We are in the end times. The earth is shaking. The earth is shaking. Wickedness has increased. The love of God has died. Wickedness in the streets, corruption, anger. The way we are feeding the, the world around, that money that we have sponsored the wars, if we were to give it to the people, there will be no child sleeping in the streets. There will be no one hungry in this world. I, I, I promise you that. Some of these nations, you look at their GDPs, they are mega billions. I mean, some of them just millions. Yet there's the five billions, 70 billion, 100 and something billion to fund wars. Because why? The love of men has grown cold. We are in the end times. Yes. So if when you said yes to Jesus, and yet you have continued in your ways as the, the time you, before you believed God, and you think you are still a believer, simply because you said yes, I have shown you, not me, the word. And the Bible says the word of God is a mirror. And I want you to, to perceive yourself in light with the word and be your job. If the scenario and the notion of one saved, always saved, is true. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Amen.